Right. Hi, I'm Sanjeev Majumna. I'm a plastic surgery consultant from Yorkshire um, in the UK and also the founder of uh, Medicine in a Nutshell. For this um, career piece, we're going to be interviewing Dr. Ton Myroy, who is an anaesthetist working in the UK, but has actually come from um, India where he was uh, had trained to be an anaesthetist and he's come uh, for further training. So, Ton Myroy, what, what is this um, scheme that you're on here? Uh, good morning, Sanjeev. Uh, hi, I'm Tanmay. Uh, the scheme is basically it's a medical training initiative. It's initiated by the Royal College of Anesthetists. It's basically for training for anesthetists who are from outside the UK, who want to get a bit of more exposure than what they're having in their own country. And what's the training scheme called? The training scheme is Medical Training Initiative, short, list, uh, short formed as MTI. So it's basically uh, an initiative by the Royal College of Anesthetists as per like, you know, other to train anaesthetists from other countries. For example, for me, I'm from India. I've trained in India. I've been working there since four years. But at some point of time, I felt there was something more, some more exposure, which I wanted to have. And I, will, well, I was not getting up to my satisfaction in my country. And then came a point when I heard from one of my friends who was training in the UK uh, in emergency department as an MTI doctor. So he kind of informed me about this initiative. And that uh, kind of, it initiated the spark in me to query further into this issue. I called up the Royal College who had uh, given me a performa. I had to go through a, a series of tests and examinations, online interviews, and finally I ended up in the UK. And in terms of if somebody in uh, another country wanted to get onto this training scheme, uh, where would they go and find information regarding this? Well, Sanjeev, I think the best place to find information regarding this is the website for the Royal College of Anesthetists. That's www.rcoa.ac.uk. That's the best site where you can get all the information regarding this scheme. And, well, the most important requirement for this is the IELTS examination, which is an English examination, where you have to give the minimum score. For my case, it was 7.5, which I had to gain. Well, uh, you have to go through the site again uh, for the IELTS to uh, currently know about the present scores which are required to come to the UK. And in terms of from the time the spark was uh, ignited in you to when you actually landed in the UK, what's the time frame? How long does it take to get through um, all the paperwork and the hoops and so on? Well, to be frank, I think if all your paperwork are properly done, if you have done your, all your documents are at hand, you have got everything ready right from your college to your working, your experience certificates, yes, that experience certificate, it plays a very important role in order to, for, to, for the Royal College to determine at which level they want to put you into. So approximately it takes around uh, roughly six months in order to, for the procedure to start and finish by the time you're here. And when you come to the UK on that scheme, uh, what grade um, anaesthetist do you start off at? Or is that, does that depend upon your experience? Yes, Sajeev, that depends upon the experience which you have in India. So you have to go through that online interview and they will be determining to put you in what grade of anaesthetist you are. But basically, I think you start off as a CT3, that's a core training 3. And how long is it for? How long does one get onto the scheme for? Is it a prescribed period of time? The Royal College of Anesthetists has basically prescribed the time as a time period of two years uh, for the whole uh, training to get completed. In this two years, you also get a chance to get a shot at the uh, Royal College of Anesthetists examination, that is the FRCA, so which is quite a prestigious degree on your part. And what about things like work permits and so on? Is that helped? Uh, did, does the college help you with the paperwork regarding that, or are there uh, exemption schemes? Yes, regarding work permit, the college do, uh, does help you regarding this. And it's, it's a very, like, it was a very, they, they had been very good and very cooperative with me. They had provided me with all the necessary paperwork which I would require in order to acquire my visa. And basically, it's the certificate, it's the certificate which they give you at the end of six months which helps you in acquiring your visa. And is, is it something that you're enjoying? Are you, are you actually achieving what you thought you might achieve in terms of experience and so on? 
Yes, I have been having a good experience in the UK, both from the ICU point of view as well as from the theatre point of view. Well, one of my interests back in India was the intensive care unit, which I'm finding it quite interesting and quite helpful here. I think the time when I go back to my country, I'll be imp uh, implementing all my skills and my knowledge which I'm gaining here in the UK, which might help me back there. Fantastic. That all sounds really good. So I take it that you would recommend this scheme for other people to get involved in? Definitely, Sanjeev. I would definitely recommend the scheme for all other trainees, trainees that is not only in India but also from other parts of the world to at least come here, spend a few time here, gather the experience, go back, help your country, implement those and have a good time back. So thank you very much. So that was Dr. Tanmay Rai, who is an anesthetist in the UK on the Medical Training Initiative Scheme. Thanks very much. Thank you.